you've ever wondered about Mars compatibility in your birth chart, then keep watching. My name is Desiree, I make astrology videos, and I offer birth chart readings. I have a special reading right now on relationship charts, so email me if you're interested in that. Mars is so important when it comes to compatibility. I thought the Mars sign is going to tell you so, so much about the relationship, especially the physical and sexual compatibility. So off of the top, I will say that the most compatible, I think, Mars signs tend to be the same sign. So if you have a Gemini Mars, you're going to really, really hit it off physically with another Gemini Mars person. Or Cancer Mars, you're going to get along really well with another person because you guys really just behave and move about in the world. Your motivations, your ambitions, just physically how you respond to things is very similar. So a lot of times that can be a good thing. Sometimes it can cause more tension and arguments. I think generally it is a good thing to have the same Mars sign, but otherwise I'm going to tell you guys the other most compatible Mars zodiac signs. So number one, Gemini and Libra Mars. Now these are both air signs and Gemini, Gemini Mars needs a lot of differentiation. It's the sign of two, so it needs usually multiples to be fully satisfied in life and especially sexually. But Libra Mars can often meet their needs more than the standard Mars sign just because they have more communicative abilities and Gemini Mars tend to like to listen to conversation, especially during you know the act <laughs> they like to talk things out they like to hear stories any gemini person in the bedroom is gonna love like a good story so keep that in mind libra peace people also really like to explore different things try new things kind of have mental games and gemini mars play into that as well so they're a good physical match now cancer and scorpio mars are very good this is a trine so they are both water signs and cancer mars can be kind of emotional and lazy and just a little bit picky kind of with their physical partners and Scorpio Mars just has like a sexuality to it that Cancer Mars can be really drawn to because they have this emotional side they want to have like a very like all lights out just feeling connecting having a very emotional like physical experience and that is why these two are a pretty good match. Scorpio Mars can also be kind of paranoid a little bit about their partners and Cancer Mars people tend to give them the reassurance and like the security and safety that they need. Now, Cancer Mars and Virgo Mars, this is kind of like your movie Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, Capricorn would be the guy and the Virgo would be the woman wanting to serve, wanting to please, wanting to just, like, do everything to make them happy. And Capricorn Mars like to be in control, like to lead, like to have that kind of dominating energy. Um, and they're both Earth signs, so they just have, like, a real, like, physical present energy. Like, they want to be present and in the moment and they want to try to use toys and all that kind of stuff. And then as far as like just in life compatibility, getting along, they both have like a very similar energy of wanting to build together and wanting to create something and they just have a supportive vibe. So that's a good match for your Mars signs. Now Aries Mars and Leo Mars. Leo Mars are like wanting to show off, show out, and they need someone that can kind of handle that aggression and that fun energy and Aries Mars are perfect for that because they are also like aggressive and they kind of take turns like being dominating. Aries is also like very much wanting to push the limits and push the boundaries and just like do crazy things and really has no fear or anything like that which Leo Mars likes. They like to be creative in the bedroom, like to try new things. These two can be very fiery though so if it's outside of the bedroom they can get into fights and arguments and definitely have like heated, very heated, um, you know, disagreements in that way. But they're both super spontaneous, like to have fun so they can have a really, really good time together, like just in life. Sagittarius Mars and Leo Mars, that's also a good combination. Also fire signs, Sagittarius Mars likes to kind of take control, be dominating, but also kind of has like a fear of um, commitment. So this one's like hit or miss. Leo Mars really wants commitment. They want to feel like they're the only one. They're like you're the object of your like most crazy desires and like the only person you ever want. Um, so this one is like a little bit iffy, but I feel like since they're both fire signs, they can just get along really well and it gives a similar vibe to the Aries and Leo that I just spoke about. And I think that Leo has enough fun and just enough like passion for the Sagittarius that it can hold the Sagittarius's um, attention a little bit longer than most other Mars signs. Now Aquarius Mars and Gemini Mars, these are good together because Gemini Mars needs that differentiation, that new, that exciting, like always doing something different, which Aquarius Mars 
you know, definitely meets. They want to always be doing different things physically, wanting to go different places, wanting to try different things in the bedroom, and just like pushing boundaries of what is in their comfort zone. So that's perfect for the Gemini, Mars, you know, duo. They need that. They need kind of novelty for sure. Those two definitely need novelty and trying new things, not being afraid of um, different things in that way. A lot of communication in the bedroom too. They're both air signs, so they need like the stories. They need the mental stimulation for sure. Like if you're not a mentally stimulating, flirty, funny, interesting person, an air sign Mars is not gonna want anything to do with you. Now Pisces and Taurus Mars is good because Taurus has the energy to kind of go the distance and to like get to the finish line if you know what I mean and Pisces Mars is a little bit more on the like lazy, calm, like whatever, I'll do whatever you want type of energy and so Taurus will push them to their limits, push boundaries and Pisces Mar Mars kind of likes that, they like to like just be taken over like that. The only issue with them is that Pisces will want some more emotional partner usually than a Taurus Mars and Taurus Mars kind of just want their cake they want to get in get it over with you know that's it it's kind of simple it's like sexually but then Pisces usually wants like more emotion so it just depends on the rest of the chart but I think those two can be a good match